In this video, you're going to see what Secure Boot is, why someone would use it, and how using it feels like with Toradex. To get started with Secure Boot, first, we need to generate a Yocto build with the feature enabled. However, right before the build starts, Yocto is going to generate a few pairs of private and public keys for us to sign the image artifacts with the private keys and to later verify the signatures at boot time with the public keys. After the keys are generated, the process to build the actual image begins. Yocto will build the whole image for us, including the bootloader, the Linux kernel, and the file system with all its dependencies. These artifacts shape the overall boot process. On boot, the SOC will first load the bootloader, which in turn loads the kernel, and then the file system. As each one of these components is built, Yocto will add it to the public key of the next component. At the end, it finally signs each one of their corresponding private keys. This forms a chain which we call the chain of trust, where each component in the boot process is capable of verifying the authenticity and integrity of the next. You may have noticed that we have not used the first public key yet. That's because it is intended to be programmed into the system on chip's read-only memory in its one-time programmable fuses. We can do that with uBoot and some commands that Yocto gives us. After the commands are run and the fuse that enables secure boot is programmed, we can finally say that the device is now closed. With the device now closed, let's see what happens during boot. In the first step, as you boot the device, the SOC verifies the bootloader's signature against the public key we just programmed before on its read-only memory. If the signature matches, this means that the bootloader artifact is authentic and has not been tampered with. Then, the same process happens when the bootloader loads the kernel image. And finally, we verify the file system's authenticity and integrity. Cool! The device was able to boot successfully and securely. This process secures your device against artifacts that are not authorized or that have been tampered with. For example, what happens if a malicious agent gets a hold of the device and is able to change, for instance, the bootloader artifact? Well, let's follow the boot process again and see what happens. First, the device is powered on. Right on the first step, the SOC tries to verify the signature on the bootloader against the public one we programmed before. Since the attacker does not hold our private keys, this verification will fail, and the device will not boot to the hacker's malicious code. Keep your devices safe with Toradex and Terizon. 